And we are live. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so great to see yeah. you. I'm excited about the series. That yes, we're do. yes, yes. So let's let everybody know. All right. So this is kind of a surprise in the midst of the um, coronavirus and all the announcements that have been made by Judge Wolf and by the mayor. It has just been, wow, a real shock. So I want to introduce everyone to the brain coach, to Dr. Sunita Punjabi Trevino, who is here with me, a wonderful person and friend, and working on some exciting research here. So we just thought, you know what, the time is now. And as you could probably see, we don't have any assistance. <laughs> we are just literally just two women getting together, but really talking about the importance of what's going on in our community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, um, when we were talking, Christy and I were thinking about, you know, what could we do? What could we deliver? And we, just as girlfriends, started having a conversation. I said, you know what? People need to hear what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, I was learning, Christy, from you about all the great things that are happening to help our business owner, uh, the business, the entrepreneurial com community. Mm -hmm. And we, were, I was talking about things that we can do for mental toughness. Yes. Because the, the truth is, we know with total certainty, we're not thinking, we're sure that all of our responses and all of our reality is originally a thought. Yes. Everything is originally a thought. So in times like this, when the pervasive thought is fear-based, mm -hmm. we're gonna find that our results in life, um, and I'm talking about the results we have today are actually thoughts that we had months ago, maybe okay. years ago, right? Right. So if we're not happy with the results we have today, we have to think about what were we thinking about back then, yeah. right? So today it's so important that we really um, think about our thinking, <laughs> which I know <laughs> sounds like, oh great. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how am I gonna do that? Now, we have to take people back a little bit. They were just working at the office. It was business as usual. It was calendars full of appointments, projects, and then what we've seen, and this is from the very high level executive all the way down to the cashier or the frontline person, everybody that's home, now they're making jokes on social media about, hey, look at what I get to wear to work and what have you. And what I started thinking about is some of the old teachings that I was brought up with that even in your worst hour, you have to get out of bed and you have to get dressed. Yeah. So maybe you should help us understand, you know, what we're kind of doing to ourselves in those moments. Yeah. Uh, Christy, that's a really great point. Um, so what we know is, and if, if anybody ever watched the movie God, do you remember with George Burns? Yes. So John Denver's in the bathroom and getting really nervous and... God, who's represented by George Burns, tells uh, John Denver, shave. <laughs> and the reason he tells him to shave is because when things are anxious mm -hmm. and when we're uncertain, it's very important that we do the things that we used to do. Yes. Because there's so much uncertainty around us. So going back to routines is going to be really helpful. Um, the things, yeah, getting up in the morning and getting dressed. Mm -hmm. um, engaging with our work even though we have to do it via Facebook yes. oh my god what an important time to use social media and Facebook because as human beings we crave interaction yes I, I you know one of the things that I'm concerned about is rates of depression can go up um, just had a young woman leave who um, has some social anxiety can't interact with her friends, mm -hmm. so the tendency is to isolate. So it's gonna be really important for us to use social media yes. as a way to engage. On all that, on the positive side, Definitely. not on the negative right, and right. panic. Definitely. Um, I've never, you know, we know in teletherapy that FaceTiming and using video chats are helpful mm -hmm. because it's the eye-to-eye -eye contact. Right. It's gonna be really important allow I know as parents um, it's awkward to tell you this but I would encourage you to let your children interact with their friends 
Um, they need to see each other's faces. Mm -hmm. They need to be able to to process all of this. Yes. So those are just little things. Absolutely. That I don't think that we're thinking about because these are times that they're, they're unprecedented. Mm -hmm. You know, we haven't thought about this before. Yeah, and I've had uh, through social media, I've seen some of my friends and colleagues share some of the, their bad times. Some yeah. of the folks that have children with disabilities or anxiety, and they're giving us a, a quick glimpse, and I, I would hope that we're not judgmental when we see that. We need to understand that it's, it's cabin fever try, times a thousand or more yeah. to be able to take a child or even an adult with certain needs out of this routine. Yeah. Now there's gyms shutting down, there's all sorts of activities. I know there's there's been this big sweep of that company Orange Theory, you know, everybody's going, it's a hot new thing. Now you can't go, but for a lot of those moms, you know, that's when you exercise with your children. That's when you your routine just shifts into something different. It does. And I think the whole it is perspective. Mm -hmm. So the ways to deal with this are available mm -hmm. and we're gonna come up, as human beings, we're so resilient. We're gonna come up with solutions we've never thought about. The yes. key is going to be mindset. Mm -hmm. It's going to be perspective. One of the things you and I talked about yesterday, and I'd like to you know, do a follow up on this, is instead of looking for certainty, because Christy and I, we were gonna call this the series on how to find certainty in uncertain times. I, 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 I applore, I, I encourage you all, instead of looking for certainty, because certainty is something that is outside of you, look for clarity. Um, this is a very important time where you may not be able to find certainty mm -hmm. because so much is going on. Yes. But look for clarity. Now, clarity implies getting in touch with what really matters to you. Mm -hmm. And again, I want to talk about this more, and I don't know. I yes. know we don't know. We're going to we're gonna do this. <laughs> we'll do this again next week. <laughs> yeah, because there's so much right now that can be done. There's, there's such an amazing opportunity right yes. now yes. to reconnect with family. Yes. Um, to consider what's really important to us, what are the priorities. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, I think this could be such a growth time for us. Absolutely. As human beings, as a culture, as a community. Mm -hmm. um, I know I haven't had the chance to spend time with you. Right. And so I'm just looking at the blessings of all of this. I get we've, to spend time with you. We've spent more time together now because of this. <laughs> we have. We have because we're coming together and we both, both of us, mm -hmm. are very interested in community support. And we're like, well, what do we have to do? Yes. So in that thinking, we came up with this. Yes. But do you get that? Yes. But if you and I were to say, we're defeated. <laughs> like, this is it. There's no solution. Yeah. If we were to really think like that, we wouldn't have come up with this. Right. right. So, and I, I really think it's going to help us to help the community. And the other thing is, I think it's going to be great for us as individuals. Mm -hmm. So that whole idea of what you said earlier, getting up. Yes. Being in action. The tendency right now, everyone, please listen. The tendency right now is to consume alcohol. Yes. <laughs> Wine is very tempting <laughs> just to turn the world off. Um, to blitz, blitz watch, is yes. that yeah, the right word? Blitz watch oh, TV? When you, yeah, when, don't watch the you know, whole, uh, what is it? Lord of the Rings all over again. That's the <laughs> temptation. The temptation is the world is so scary to disengage mm -hmm. and to, to go into fantasy. And if you need to do that, please allow yourself that space, but at the same time, work on goals. Work on things that you wanted. Yes. Go back to things that you, the desires of your heart, connect with your family. You know, if you haven't had that talk you wanted to have with your son, daughter, family member, this is a good time. Mm -hmm. um, so I think making a little, taking a little step towards every goal we had, yes. you know, could you start, take that online degree? Sure we could. Yes, now we can. And this is a serious time. Gathering information for business owners. Yes. Chris, you're going to give me homework. Yes, I am. Because I am going to learn about what I can do as a business owner. So this is the time I'm going to do it. Yes. So, and as we know, the federal government has released information about the F SBA offering 
low interest loans. Now we have a local entity, Lip Fund, who's gonna offer no interest loans, zero. Then we have grants on top of that that are going to be offered. And we expect more things to be happening. Yeah. So for those business owners that have had to shut down, it's not just go sit at home. Right. Or if you had to lay off some staff, I mean, don't wallow in that. It's about, all right, now I need to get to work. We have the resources in place. That means I need to get into my office, do the paperwork. Yep. It's easy, it's focused. There's people you can actually call. So that's one aspect of it. And then if you're that business owner, I talked to another business owner day before yesterday who said they were so upset, like they lost family members because they had to lay off more than 50% of their staff. Yeah. But I told them, think of it this way. We're gonna actually connect. We need to make sure that we can reach them. Yes. And, and counsel those folks, they were in the hospitality, and that if you've ever been that waiter, waitress, bartender, whatever, I mean, even if you're successful, and you said, I just, I wanna change career paths. In time of crisis like this, this is literally the time. Yeah. That we can have a little cushion, it's tough, but you could actually change industries yeah. and have the support that's the positive to look at. Have the support of our city government and, and the federal entities. Yep. Say, yes, we can give you another job. Definitely, um, and I think it is really, because I'm listening to your perspective and uh, not everyone's thinking like that, but it's going, this is the time that's gonna define us, but the other important thing is a lot of amazing growth a lot of business owners are going to revolutionize mm -hmm. the way they do business during this time yes. if they keep that perspective. Yes. Um, perspective really is important. I put up, so if you can imagine, these are inside the brain, there's these neurons. Now they don't have words on it like this does. <laughs> this is actually a decision tree. And the way this works is we have a thought about something and then a way to decide about it, they're like branches. Literally, this is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. If we put words in our brain, so the neurons um, look like this. This is a thought firing, right? And if you can imagine, how is it gonna fire? Mm -hmm. Which direction are we going? Mm -hmm. Because the answers are available, how we're gonna deal with these times. But if we're shut off, if we don't, if we think that this is the end and there's no hope, then we're not going to see the opportunities. Mm -hmm. And really, like this right now, yes. Instead of saying, you know, we're shut off. You and I came up with a way to reach people. Yes, we're opening up and reaching people. And I wanted to do this, so I here I am. I I will not tell you guys to do something I'm not doing. I'm taking step towards my goal. I always wanted to be more involved with Christy. I always wanted to use social media more. Kept putting it off, putting it off, because I didn't have the time. <laughs> Guess what? Got the time now. Yes, we got plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna do, and I, I will be bringing you research. I will be bringing you the latest information on the brain, how to grow our brain yes. when it wants to shrink. <laughs> Okay, yes. and the truth is if you don't engage, if you don't get out, if you're not FaceTiming your friends or whatever it is, you will have brain shrinkage. Yes. It really does shrink. Can you imagine? Oh, no. We yeah. don't need that. That's, no, we don't need that. That already happens so, with age. <laughs> get, yes, it does. So get out there, engage in life, solve problems, yes. look for things, and it's gonna grow your brain, and believe it or not, I know most people may not believe this, but the research shows we actually can grow our brain younger. I like that. Yeah, so we'll look, we'll look younger, <laughs> sexier. So, Sunita, before we leave, I did want to touch base. We have a lot of folks in the audience of different ages. Yes. So, and you know, amazingly, of course, we've already hit our 15 minutes yeah. that we were gonna keep this to, but you know, those folks that feel lonely, yeah. Those folks, um, young or old, it doesn't matter if you're 20 years old or if you're 40 or 60 or 80. I mean, I think it's important to reach out to somebody. And yes. especially if you feel 
really lonely and say you don't have any friends or nobody cares, I think if you give yourself a job to go take a care package to a neighbor, um, if you're that that veteran or the spouse of a veteran, I just yes. I just unfortunately um, it wasn't really close, but it was a, a friend of my husband's who his wife committed suicide, and that just really weighed heavy on those thoughts yeah. because they have a family, yeah. and and where do we go from here? And this just happened a, a week and a half ago, so. Because we don't have an assistant, I'm gonna go get on the other side of that camera and I'm gonna let you, you know, kind of finish that thought and we yeah. will be back next week. For sure, you're gonna see more postings. I want you to engage other people and bring them in. Yeah. But Sunita, please. Yeah, I think Christy, what you said is really powerful, very important. Do whatever you can to reach out to people. And if you are a business owner, this is a great time, pick up the phone call text your business text your your clients text your workers reach out to them tell them that you care tell them as soon as this is over you're going to be there it's also going to be really healthy for you so it's a great time to grow your business connect with your client connect with your customer and connect with your employees and it's going to be great for you too so i think we can knock out two birds with one so i'm like really as a business owner, I've been on the phone with my clients today and I've been on the phone with my employees and saying, care about you guys, we're gonna go through this together. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's my great suggestion. All right, so then we'll just tell everybody we'll see them next week. We will see you next week. This is The Brain Coach, Dr. Sunita Punjabi, ABD, and Christy Villanueva from the Westside Chamber, signing out. Thank you. <laughs>